According to reports, Taiwan is currently seeking to acquire Harpoon anti-ship missiles from the United States to enhance its defensive capabilities against a possible Chinese incursion. A Bloomberg News report on April 18th cited U.S. Taiwan Business Council President Rupert Hammond Chambers and people familiar with the matter revealing that Taiwan will purchase as many as 400 land-launched Harpoon missiles, completing an arms deal approved by the U.S. Congress in the year 2020. The move is part of Taiwan's broader efforts to modernize its military and strengthen its defenses amid increasing military tensions with China, which has long claimed Taiwan as part of its territory and has not ruled out using force to bring it under its control. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why American Harpoon for Taiwan would be a big headache for China. Let's get started. Hammond Chambers said that the U.S. Naval Air System Command has signed a contract on behalf of Taiwan, and three others familiar with the matter, including an industry official, also confirmed the contract is with Taiwan. The U.S. Department of Defense announced on April 7th that it signed a $1.7 billion contract with Boeing, but it didn't list Taiwan as the buyer. Lieutenant Colonel Martin Miners, a Pentagon spokesperson, declined to confirm whether Taiwan was acquiring the missiles, but said, We will continue to work with industry to provide Taiwan defense equipment in a timely manner. As per Rupert Hammond Chambers, president of the U.S.-Taiwan Business Council, Taiwan has previously purchased ship-launched versions of the Harpoon. The latest contract with Boeing issued on Taiwan's behalf by the U.S. Naval Air Systems Command marks a first of the mobile land-launched version. The Harpoon is an all-weather, over-the-horizon, anti-ship missile developed and manufactured by McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing Defense, Space and Security. Harpoon Block 2 expands the capabilities of the original Harpoon anti-ship weapon and will most likely be the one being sold to Taiwan. The major system components of the Harpoon Block 2 missile includes a booster, launch support structure and canisters, as well as a command and launch system. The missile employs a GPS-aided inertial navigation system INS, to strike targets on land and ships. Harpoon Block 2 integrates the low-cost inertial measuring unit from the Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, program. It also uses a software package, Mission Computer, Integrated GPS-INS, and GPS Antenna and Receiver from the AGM-84H Standoff Land Attack Missile Expanded Range SLAM -ER. The Guidance Control Unit, or GCU, of Harpoon Block 2 integrates a Selective Availability Anti-Spoofing Module SAASM, GPS Receiver. The GCU can also be incorporated with a data link for network-centric operation. The GPS-INS eliminates mid-course guidance issues on the way to the target area while performing conventional anti-ship missions, including open sea and near land. The accurate navigation, combined with an improved launch system, provides better discrimination of target vessels from islands and nearby land zones or other ships. The advanced feature of Block 2 provide a high hit probability against warships operating near shore or sailing on narrow sea routes. The 227 kilogram or 500 pound penetration high explosive blast warhead provides the missile with sufficient firepower to cripple a large warship. A typical launcher transporter unit consists of four missiles each. Presently, Taiwan's order seems to be in the backlog of orders for the sea launched version of the Harpoon and Taiwan is currently behind Saudi Arabia in the line. In February, Mike Gallagher, who is the Republican chairman of the House Select Committee on Chinese Communist Party, said Taiwan should be moved to the front of the line for the harpoons and that the idea of Saudi Arabia receiving the weapons first doesn't make any strategic sense to me. This was one of the topics of discussion at the hearing of the House Armed Services Committee on April 18th. 
After the meeting, Gallagher said he'd like to look for ways to get Harpoon anti-ship missiles to Taiwan ahead of those scheduled to go to Saudi Arabia. The United States is a key ally of Taiwan and has provided military support to the island in the form of arms sales and other forms of assistance. However, China strongly opposes such actions, seeing them as interference in its internal affairs and a threat to its national security. The potential sale of harpoon missiles is likely to further exacerbate tensions between the United States and China, which are already strained over a range of issues, including trade, human rights, and territorial disputes in the South China Sea. Wang Wenben, a spokesperson at China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, said at a press conference on Tuesday in response to the report, China will take resolute and powerful measures to firmly safeguard our own sovereignty and security interests. China is separated from Taiwan through the Taiwan Strait, and China will have to move its forces across the strait in case it decides to invade. The strait's 100 miles or 160 kilometers wide. A major amphibious operation will be required by China, and Taiwan is looking to exploit this situation. Taiwan is thought to be rigging these waters with mines, and with new stockpiles of harpoons, along with several kinds of homegrown anti-ship missiles like Shengfeng-3, the circumstances will be pretty challenging for Chinese amphibious flotilla. A large barrage of the anti-ship missiles will be very hard to defend against. It's uncertain how things will unfold, or what the outcome will be, but one aspect is clear. A potential Taiwan invasion will be fraught with danger for China. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.